So the guys went out mobile and this extractor started smoking when they plugged it in. And so I had to go out and swap out another one for them. So you can see this one's like kind of burnt. It's also missing the ground, so that's fairly dangerous. But I'm gonna plug it in and see uh, what they were talking about. There it is. Yeah, that's one way to fuck up an outlet. Alrighty. Ooh, that smell, that burnt the shit out of this in like half a second. All right, I'm gonna make sure there's no water in here. And then we're gonna take it apart. Cool, it's empty. So I'm gonna replace the cord. The problem with these extractors is that it uses three different um, powers. So there's the vacuum, there is a pump, and then there's a the heater. So the vacuum is about a thousand watts. The heat is for sure a thousand watts. The pump isn't too much. But um, when you plug it in and turn on all three switches, you're pulling a little over 2,000 watts of power. And so that's a lot on the outlet and you can uh, pop a breaker. But sometimes depending on how old it is, like this one's my oldest one, I think, um, the power isn't very well regulated. So I'm gonna open this. So it shorted the heater. The heater pulls the most power. Look, it, it came completely off. So that is why it's shorting right now and causing smoke and fire. So I might just unplug that and not use the heater at all. all right. So I'm gonna replace the switch and uh, disconnect the heater. There's no point into it. All right, let's go and uh, get our tools. That should do. Shit, I almost made it explode over there. All right, open up our extractor, figure out the problem was that this power cord or whatever it is, this hot wire, was disconnected from the heater. And so now there's a lot of burnt area. So I'm gonna disconnect the heater. We never really use our heater anyway, so I don't really care for it. So I'm gonna disconnect the power, mold it, but also replace the power cord. So this is like melted, so I'm about to replace that. This is the neutral. White is always neutral. What is it? <laughs> when it comes to cords, make sure you guys get the right gauge. The higher the gauge, the thinner the cord, the lower the gauge. So this is a 14 gauge. Uh, most 14 gauges have thicker wires, so um, it's for higher powered machines. Uh, if you have a 16 gauge, usually only has two prongs. That's for like a fan, a light, or something like that. So make sure we use a 14, minimum 14. I would prefer a 12, just because this uh, requires a lot of power, which is fine. So all I gotta do is splice and mend these together. The biggest thing is I want to make sure the pump is still plugged in and the vacuum because that's all we're going to use. I don't care for the heater. The heater pulls too much power and it usually pops the breakers. All right, just tape it up so that when they pull the cord by accident, it doesn't disconnect these. I didn't have none of those other yellow connectors, so I just put that nut on there. This is not going to be pretty. I don't really care. Because nobody's going to see it. Besides me, in the future, we're going to have to fix it again. Alrighty. Let's test it out. All right, the pump's not working, so I gotta figure that out. It's not turning on. Maybe I don't have a hose in there, that's why. Let's 
go test it out. And there's no water in there. Because <sighs> you're not very important. Damn, that pump is not turning on. That's not a good sign. The problem was the neutral wasn't f connected to the pump as well. And this is why there was a T right here. So it got teed off. So I gotta connect this as well so this is supposed to go here and go in two different spots so i'm gonna cut it and put new ends on it there it is there it is so she's ready to go she's ready back to go work lock this up That's the fixed extractor with a brand new cord.